A reading from the Acts of the Apostles In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all Jesus did and thought until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by His own authority, but you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When He had said this, as they were looking on, He was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. Responsorial Psalm God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples clap your hands, Shout to God with cries of gladness, for the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts His throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For the King of the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon His holy throne. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading is taken from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to His call, what are the riches of glory in His inheritance among the holy ones, and what is surpassing greatness of His power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of His great might, which He worked in Christ, raising Him from the dead, and sitting Him at His right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as head 
over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who feels things in every way. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Then he told them, Go and preach the good news to everyone in the world. Anyone who believes me and is baptized will be saved, but anyone who refuses to believe me will be condemned. Everyone who believes me will be able to do wonderful things. By using my name, they will force out demons, and they will speak new languages. They will handle snakes and will drink poison and not be hurt. They will also heal sick people by placing their hands on them. After the Lord Jesus had said these things to the disciples, he was taken back up to heaven where he sat down at the right side of God. Then the disciples left and preached everywhere. The Lord was with them, and the miracles they worked proved that their message was true. Mark ends his gospel account on Jesus' last appearance to the apostles before his ascension into heaven. Being Jesus' last appearance to his disciples, the disciples must have felt helpless now that Jesus will not be with them anymore physically. But the good news of Jesus' ascension is that Jesus will still continue to be with them, but in a different way, in which it is new to them. In fact, he promised to them that he will remain with them forever. During this time, Jesus' presence to his disciples will be through the Holy Spirit, who will be the Advocate who will strengthen them when they feel helpless and fearful. Before going up to heaven, Jesus gave the disciples the mandate to bring the good news to all corners of the world. He gave their mission to be witnesses to his atoning death for sin and his glorious resurrection to new life for all who believe in Jesus. This is the same mission Jesus gave all of us during our baptism. The task of proclaiming the good news to all is not only for missionaries, for priests and consecrated people in the church, but it is the mission for all of us Christians. Proclaiming the good news would mean not only in words, but above all, by our way of life, a life which is according to the gospel. All of us are missionaries in one way or another. Let us pray to God that he may give the grace to do our Christian duties with great love. Prayer from ConnectUsFund.org Heavenly Lord, I come before you on behalf of the missionaries around the world today. I want to place them into your hands, Lord, and ask for a hedge of protection around them. You know, which individuals need prayer right now. I pray on their behalf, asking for your blessing. The most vital part of any ministry endeavor is prayer. For this reason, I also ask for you to provide other prayer warriors who will stand beside them in their ministry 
through prayer. Amen.